Hi everyone, I am in the Portland airport and I do have people around me, so I'm trying to whisper. <laughs> but I don't care if they see me holding a camera up in the air. Well, I care a little bit now because there's somebody right next to me. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. When I was going through security, the person who takes my license and my boarding passes, you know, everything was normal. And then as she hands it back to me, she says, I am a big fan of your YouTube channel and I wanted to die. I didn't even say thank you for watching. I was like, what did I say? I know exactly what I said. I said, how do you know that? That's exactly what I said. It's so stupid. She knows it because she watches YouTube. <laughs> I mean, I'm at the Portland airport. Not a whole lot of people watch my videos and more and more I'm getting recognized and it just feels very strange. Now, I was recognized all the time for my coupon blog, but that made sense to me. People were following the deals I was posting and they were also shopping at Shaw's. A lot of the people were local, so of course people ran into me, but I mean, people that I didn't know, but they would approach me. I remember one time I was shopping with my sister. I just remember this because it was odd that my sister had absolutely nothing to say about this. Three different people came up to me and like, oh my god, you're Darlene, I can't believe I'm meeting you. And and my sister never once said a thing. Nothing like, um, wow, you're popular, you know, nothing. Didn't even phase her. <laughs> That's how disconnected my family is with me. It has always been like that. It's like, I don't know, nobody pays attention to me except complete strangers. So I used to get recognized a lot for the blog. But uh, more and more now I'm getting recognized for my channel. And it's weird because for the blog, they weren't watching me. They were, you know, following my deals. I wasn't even doing YouTube at the beginning. Uh, then I started doing it. But it was the deals that they were following. And, uh, and now they're watching me. And it's just a different feeling. But that was bizarre. That was totally bizarre. So I'm going to have to start being more nice, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's the part that they like, that I'm just who I am. And uh, But anyway, so I'm here and I'm waiting. I'm here in time. And it's a beautiful day if you like sunshine. I just say it's a beautiful day because it's a good day for flying, I think. You know, it's not, there's no storm. There's no snowstorm. It's not raining. So it should be smooth sailing in the sky. And uh, why is that woman talking now? I am going to call my mother and let her know I'm at the airport. And then I will, uh, not eat. I did bring some meat, but that will be for Baltimore if I have time. Not hungry right now. That's it. I'll chat with you again in a bit. Thanks for choosing us today. Welcome aboard. I have no clue if it's a full flight or not, but I wanted to say that I'm so mad I didn't get the name of the security agent. I don't know what to call her. Okay. Um, I stopped after I went past her and I was getting ready to go through the, you know, the scanning thing. And I was going to turn around and go back and ask her, but I thought it would look weird to, like, approach a security person from behind. So I decided not to do that. But I do want to give a shout out to her, you know, that was really sweet and it threw me completely off guard and I'm sorry that I didn't thank you for watching my videos. It was very nice to be recognized like that. Ooh. I think I'm alone. Or at the very least, if somebody sits on the aisle, I'll have the middle empty. But I think everybody is settled. I can lay down across all three seats. I won't be doing that. Is that okay? I hope I don't have meat in my teeth. Because I did eat some of my ground beef. I, I came with two hamburger patties and some chicken. An hour and 40 minutes this leg. 
And the same just to be on Derek's couch. Can't wait. And Derek texted me to tell me he bought meat and he bought seltzer. Um, he knows that I like the clear, unflavored seltzer every now and then. All right, ladies and so I do indulge in seltzer when I'm there. On. We will be able very, to very, very the loud. They're talking very loud. Maybe a little bit early. <laughs> we do need everyone at a seat with their seatbelt securely fastened. I have my seatbelt with the extension okay. <laughs> securely fastened. Okay. You know, I never see anybody else ask for the extensions. And there are some men way bigger than me. And it's like they can't possibly be putting the seatbelts on because I tried again and there's no way. I was like six inches short, you know. So um, I always need an extension. Maybe their belly fat is softer. <laughs> I think they're just not wearing one. Okay, I have um, my iPad. I'm going to play some games. Am I going to record takeoff and landing? I think I will. Why not? And I also brought cotton yarn to crochet uh, dishcloths. Nothing else. Um, because I want to put some of those on eBay. And I bought the yarn a while back during one of my tag along with me to Walmart videos. And I haven't used them yet. My mother's used a couple. She made a bunch more for Derek, so I'm bringing those. And um, that's it. I'm gonna just chat with you and I will do takeoff and landing. For those of you who haven't seen that enough times yet. Uncle, to unfasten lift up on the focal general release. This aircraft is equipped with six emergency exits, two forward doors, two over the wing removable window exits, and two aft exit doors.
Shortly Captain brings this aircraft to a complete stop at the gate and turns off that fasten seatbelt sign. I am in Baltimore and I cannot get away from the sun. It is so bright and it's all windows and I am I am about halfway across the airport to where I have to be. And since I came across an empty rocking chair, see I'm rocking with nobody right around me. I thought I would uh, sit and take a break. This is crazy. <laughs> So I am uh, just sitting here. I wasn't feeling well on the first flight. I tend to get motion sickness, so I never feel that great when I'm flying. I started out just, you know, playing a few games on my iPad, and then I ended up crocheting. And of course that makes it worse. If I were to just sit, look out the window, you know, look around, that would be fine. But I feel like doing stuff, and it makes me feel sick air sick, motion sickness. Um, so I am going to, I love rocking, I am going to rest here for a minute, call my mother, let her know I'm in Baltimore, text Derek, let her know I'm in Baltimore, and uh, I will uh, chat with you again. I am sufficiently tired. I got off the plane and I walked about halfway across the airport and then that's when I sat and talked with you guys in the rocking chair. And then I got up and I continued walking and I walked about 10 minutes and then I was like, this just doesn't seem right. It seems like I'm going to the end of B, concourse B, and there's not going to be a C after that. <laughs> so of course I was wrong. I stood there and tried to decide which way do I go and I asked someone and they said back the other way so I had to backtrack. So then when I got back to my starting point I was so glad that the numbers were going 1 to 14. You know sometimes I'm at the opposite end and you know the big number is like the closest one. I'm like oh yay I have gate 1 but gate 1 is the furthest away. So I knew I had gate C3 and I said, okay, this isn't going to be bad at all. So I get to gate C3 and there's absolutely no one. And there was a man behind the, the desk or whatever it is. And I asked him, is this the flight going out to Memphis? And he said, are you looking for Southwest? I said, yeah, he goes, it's all the way that way. And I said, are there any screens so I can see what gate? And because he wasn't Southwest, I'm pretty sure. Can you be quiet? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he. <laughs> My arm is so tired from holding this camera. My turn. Oh my God. So he didn't look it up for me. And he said the... The uh, screens are back at the beginning, so I backtracked again. Only three gates. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. And then I see that my gate is C13, not C3. So I had to walk the entire concourse. It's just one of those days. And that's why I said when I have a flight where it's um, the layover is not long, I literally have to run. And it's far. There's no shuttles or anything like that. And I have to just run. So I'm glad that I had time to make a mistake and to rest. But I'm at my gate now. And uh, 13 and 14 are right at the very end. It's all windows. But I got a good seat there. And then somebody sat right in front of me. And I couldn't find another place where I wouldn't have somebody directly in front of me. So I'm at the other gate. I'm at C11. I hope I don't forget that I'm supposed to take off <laughs> at the other gate. I will be very ready for Derek's couch. I'm just anxious to be there. I know I'm going to be hungry. I did eat a little bit, but I think I'll be hungry when I'm at his house, and I don't want to friggin' cook. <sighs> I'm sure I can just wait till tomorrow if I must. 
He usually has sandwich meat, but boy, I'm trying so hard to stay away from that. But he buys the expensive sandwich meat, so it's not like it's all processed, and I don't know, it's still processed. I'll deal, and all right, I'm going to um, shut this off and regroup, and I will chat with you again. Oh my god, I'm tired. I want to show you my almost half of a dishcloth. I'm working in the diagonal, and I'm using two of my favorite colors, uh, one of my favorite color combinations, I should say. Purple and green, a very pale green. So it looks just like a triangle right now, but it will be a square eventually. See? It'll be a square like that. Just have to finish. I have to start decreasing pretty soon. And uh, I'll have that on eBay. Probably started at a penny with free shipping, like my other stuff. Well, not everything. I don't do that with my shirts. And I will be back with more tunics after this trip. All right. Um, they're going to start boarding pretty soon, so I'm going to put my stuff away. And hopefully I can sit alone. I think he said there's 120 on the plane and that it seats 175. So it's looking good. There's like 50 vacant seats. They just said it again, so so help me. If anybody sits next to me, I mean, not even in this, you know, three, three seats, should be able to have them empty. But, you know, it took me like five minutes to decide which seat because the windows are not always in the right position for me to hold my camera. So I got the perfect one and I am on the right side. Right side, left side of the All plane. Right, folks are just showing us this evening. We still have seats together here in the back. Lots of windows and aisles. Come on back. Don't it is not a full to flight today. There will be about 50 empty I'm seats. I'm in the back. Once we do get moving, it will cool off. Reach up, give your little air vents a twist. I might have meat in my teeth again. Do you want to see? Folks, I did bring floss, but space on board, I didn't so use it. Brought two bags. <laughs> place a smaller of those bags. I'm leaving my bag in the seat in the middle. I don't care if somebody sits on the end, but if two people sit next to me, I'm getting up and fucking moving. <laughs> I think I'm making it. I think I'm going to be all alone. But this way, with my left arm against the window, I have no place to put my yarn while crocheting. I didn't think about that. Uh, when I was on the other side of the plane, I could put it on the seat to the left of me. I will deal. I will deal with it. I don't even know. Well, this is like two and a half hours, this flight, so I have to do something. And I don't know if I want to play games or whatever. I might as well just crochet. Oh my goodness. So, I will record takeoff and landing again for you guys, and then I will uh, probably chat with you just briefly at the airport, and uh, that'll be about it. Right now the girls are coming by to make sure your seat belts are fastened, that your seat back and tray tables are up and locked, that all your carry-on items, including the kitchen sink, are all the way underneath the seat in front of you, because...
exhausted and I am uh, very ready to be on a couch. I'm talking while walking and I'm going by a bunch of people right now. Hi, bunch of people. I'm talking while walking because I just want to get my luggage and get out of here. Derek's only about 10 to 15 minutes away. So when I land, I let him know and then he takes off. And by the time I get my luggage, he's here in the cell phone lot. And then I just text him and he picks me up magically. I want a big glass of ice cold seltzer when I get home and two Benadryl and my pillows on the couch. I get to go on the walkway thingy. Is there anybody behind me? Yeah, a couple people. Can I do this without falling? Let's see. Oh my god, it's going uh, kind of fast. Oh, I'm so tired. Every bone in my body hurts from just sitting in a plane. All right, I'm almost there. Ooh, I gotta get off now. Uh, I'm getting better at this. So I'm just going to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back with more soon. Bye! I can't wave. All my hands are full.